So we're going to start at Google because links do change often. And we're just going to type connected components workbench download. And right here, our top one is going to be connected components workbench software. And we'll select our language and connected components workbench software and then it's going to ask for your location it is going to let you download it from anywhere that you're located they're just asking this to get general information about you and help give you the best experience possible then we're going to scroll down and right here you'll see download the standard edition we'll click it and it's going to take us right to Connected Components Workbench software. The current version is 12. And again, if you have a version previous to 12, I'd highly recommend that you download a new version. We're going to select the Connected Components Workbench. And then we are going to download. And we'll click Download Now. And then it's going to ask you to sign in. Now, if you don't have an account, there's no worries here. You can create an account for free. So just to show you that you can, I'm going to hit the Create Account button. And we're just going to put ccw at twcontrols.com. Now, the last video I did where I was showing that you could download things for free, the next thing I knew, everybody was trying to enter what the email address I used. Please don't do this. Now, I get a lot of people ask me, well, what if I don't have a company? Well, if you look right here, this says optional information. So they're just trying to gather some information about you to help you get the best experience possible. But you can leave all of that blank. And then we're going to click continue. And then we're going to create a password. And it does require a fairly complicated password. And we'll agree to their terms and create an account. Now it says they've just emailed me a link and that's to verify my account. Now we'll proceed to sign in. So ccw at twcontrols.com and I'll put that password in. Now again, guys, this is something I just made up. So this is not associated with my company even though it was a company email address. I really just went in there, managed to create a sign on, and now I'll be able to go back to this, click the download now button, and now it does ask for a company info and it doesn't look like it's optional. Well, if you don't have a company, put your school, put your name, put something. So let's just put Tim Wilborn. And we have successfully updated our profile. And there you go. Now we're to the Rockwell end user agreement. So read through it, and if you agree, then click the Accept button. And now you can either do a managed download or a direct download. Now, early on, and honestly, I probably should try the managed download again, but like 10 years ago, I had trouble with the managed download. So always use the direct download, but you can try the managed download. It probably works great now. And you see we have two files that we're going to need to download. So I'm going to click that one. Actually, I've already downloaded them to save me time, so I'm going to click the cancel button on it. But then you would click that one also. And I'll cancel out of them because I have both of them downloaded. So once those two files are downloaded, double click on the .exe file and extract the files. Now that'll take several minutes to do. While we're waiting on that, please like this video, please subscribe, and let me know in the comments uh, what you would like to see videos on. We're getting ready to build out a Connected Components Workbench series and a Studio 5000 series. So now's a great time to give your input on them. So it's finished extracting, and you won't really notice anything except in the folder where the EXE was located, you'll now have an additional folder and that is our installation file so go down and find the setup exe file it's fairly self-explanatory you don't need to customize any options just click install now all right now we need to select our default ethernet adapter the only thing is i use my usb to ethernet adapter normally which i don't have plugged in so for now i'm gonna just select my wireless adapter all right and it says that's it once you restart your computer You'll be ready to run Connected Components Workbench.